Welcome back guys, my name is Fernando Herrera and thank you for joining me because today we're going to be talking about Dojilon, especially because it has dropped almost 56% or above 56%. And so I'm going to be talking about what is the upcoming trend I think it's going to happen for this token. I'm also going to be telling you what am I doing, am I buying or am I selling? And I'm also going to be talking about a brand new cryptocurrency that I just bought. So be sure to stay until the end to find out which token it is. Now, before I begin, I do want to ask you one big favor. Please help me by smashing that like button and subscribing. I do want to point out that this is not a crypto channel. So I actually share many ways of how I just build wealth through Airbnb, Turo, brick and mortar websites. And so, you know, crypto is just one of them. So don't expect a crypto video from me every time, but do expect a lot of quality content that could help you build some good wealth. In my videos, I simply explain what I've done and my experience. So it doesn't mean I'm an expert. So be sure to risk at your own risk. And again, I'm just going to tell you what is it that I'm doing right now and, you know, what I think is going to happen. But that doesn't mean that might happen or that might not happen. So only invest money that you're willing to lose. Let's just put it that way. But with that being said, guys, then let's just go ahead and jump into the graphs because I want to show you pretty much where Doji Lawn stands right now. So first, let's go ahead and talk about the graph because I kept saying on my last videos that this token pretty much could not stay in the middle. So it's, it was going to have to decide whether it's going to go up or whether it was going to go down. At this case, I, I think we're pretty certain that we can say that obviously the token has decided to go down and I do expect it to go down even further, probably around this, this range right here. Um, I would say market cap wise, again, somewhere around the 200 million, possibly going down all the way to 130 million. If it drops a little bit above that threshold, I would be actually uh, very impressed and I would probably consider that it might be uh, a pretty bad project, you know, because uh, I don't know, I just feel like if it goes back to the same market cap that it was before 26 million, uh, that means we just got rug pulled, like just literally. But I would expect it to maintain at least 100 to a 200 million market cap. Um, the reason for this, I, I have several reasons why I think the Doji Lawn decided to go down uh, instead of up. I mean, it's because you can't just have a token going up all the time. If we see the last time that the token went up this way, it also went up to an all-time high and then suddenly just went down. Stay like that for six months or five months and then another spike happened. Now, with that also being said, a reason or part of the reason why we had a big spike on this token was because of the exchange uh, listing on crypto.com. So when it was announced or when crypto.com, uh, you know, added this token, we saw an increase of almost 20,000 new holders, which is pretty good. And we can see that that has kind of settled. So from 100,000, 100,000 holders, we can see that only in a matter of three days, we've only increased 5,000 more holders. Now, I do want to point out that the market cap is going down, as I've been saying in my past videos or my earlier videos about this token. Uh, market cap has been going down for, let's say, the past week, uh, you know, from almost $1.4 billion in market cap. We're now down to almost 500 uh, in million in market cap. And the holders amount has remained the same. So that means that people aren't selling the token. It just means that those are big whales that are selling some of their positions. And that's why the market cap is going down. Now, with this being said, I do want to say that I'm going to buy the dip. So I already started buying some of more Dojilan. I actually bought $600 more Dojilan. I'm already 40% down on that position. But to me, it's actually not that relevant because I'm going to wait it out. So my next purchase is not going to be anywhere until, uh, like I said, once it reaches down to that 100 to 200 market cap, which would be somewhere around right here. And pretty much what I'm thinking is if this time Dojilan got so much exposure, so I'm going to wait it out for another two years. If we could get another spike or maybe a bigger spike, my goal for Dojilan Mars is that it could reach a top 50 or top 20 market cap token. So it could be like in the top 20 for just a brief moment. And then that's when I would consider liquidating some of my uh, position, right? Obviously not sell all of it, but you know, once it reaches that top 50, top 20, which now with the, all the exposure that we got, it reached up to, I believe the rank 96 at one point. And so that was very, very impressive. So if we could reach, you know, top 50 or top 20, that's when I would consider selling some of my position. But other than that, I'm going to wait to buy a little bit more towards the bottom 
And then I'm just gonna wait it out. Simply just, just wait and, and that's it. Now, before I continue, I do wanna say if you're just starting out on crypto and you're just a beginner and want a platform that you could easily trade Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies that are much more stable, then Weibull is the perfect app for you. And for a limited time, I believe you get like a price, you get like $5 of Shiba Inu, which is a token, or you get like a free stock. But long story short, it's, it's free money. And all you have to do is sign up through my referral link, which is in the description below. And you get a price again, you get free money if you deposit $100 uh, within, I believe, 30 days. But Weeble was actually the app that I first used when I started trading cryptocurrencies. So I think it's a good app for those who are just getting their feet wet and want to get exposed to a bit of cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency world. So, so again, be sure to use the link in the description below. And yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and continue with the video. So now I do want to talk about a token uh, called Floki. And I'm talking about this token because yesterday I was on YouTube and I watched a video from Graham Stephan, which again, if you don't know who he is, he's just a personal finance uh, YouTube channel that I really watch a lot. And pretty much long story short is he explained something about this token that has gone up 6,000% uh, within, you know, a matter of a month. And I decided to do some research and, you know, I, I decided to ignore his advice and buy blindly. Now, why am I sharing this? Uh, I'm sharing this because when I bought into this position, for some reason, I thought it had a market cap of 120 million. But now I'm realizing that it was a three, uh, 250 million uh, volume, like, value you know so not not really a market cap when i try to look up the market cap according to crypto uh coinbase uh or coin market cap oh my god so many different ones but according to coin market cap the market cap's like 3.4 billion dollars which is way too much so i mean i think i might have made a mistake on this token i'm still on the green i mean this token could still continue to go up as far as I'm concerned, I believe Floki has been putting a lot of money in advertising, like advertisement in the UK and, and Spain and all these other like European countries. However, um, I mean, I don't know. But with that being said, I mean, I just decided to buy $200 of this Floki token. And the reason I'm sharing this is because I do have a project coming up, a new video that I'm going to be buying around 200 different tokens. And so if you have a token that you would want me to consider buying, be sure to leave it in the comment section below because I'm going to be investing somewhere around five to $10 per token. And then I'm going to be seeing, you know, what can we do? What type of return we could get if we were to just randomly invest in like 200 different tokens. But, um, I mean, honestly, guys, I, I don't know much about Floki Inu. I just saw that Graham is a very respectable investment guy that he said, I, I don't even remember, honestly, if, if he bought some, uh, he did say that the risk obviously is that you could lose because you're buying at the top. But, um, you know, I buy some just to keep it in my portfolio because otherwise I'll just forget about it. And if it goes down, you know, there's just so many tokens out there that I'll just forget to buy this particular one once it reaches the bottom. But well, guys, that will be all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, let me know what you think about Dojilon. Do you think it's going to go back up? Do you, when do you think it's actually going to be the next wave? Uh, with that being said, again, I look really forward to what Dojilon has to offer, what Floki and all the crypto space has to offer, especially Ethereum has been doing fairly well. Uh, Shiba Inu, not that much, but I mean, that's part of the game. It's the name of the game. And thank you so much guys for watching. Uh, again, feel free to subscribe and smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.